progreso de ese sancista brujo Luis. So this is my 13-inch buffalo hide drum. It is, I think this is around maybe three inches. The back, that is, this is vegan sinew, right? And so I have her oiled down. You can see the oil. And she's nice and tight. But I want to show you what it sounds like. She is nice and tight. So it's a little late. I got to be careful. I don't want to wake up my neighbors. So I'm going to do it lightly. So that's how you want you know, your drum to be. You want your drum to sound... Well, first you want the hide to be tight, right? You want the oil, of course, you oil it down. I'll talk about that a little bit, but nice and tight. This, so this is 13 inch. This is a 14 inch. I don't know if you can see that. This is a 14 inch, I think. I'm not sure if it's moose or elk. I'm thinking this is a 14 inch elk hide drum also natural hide sinew really beautiful design now this drum she's a little dry and she's a little flat i don't know if you can hear that let me get a drumstick okay she's a little flat right this baby needs a little pampering all right she needs a little oiling and a little heat to get her back into shape. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm going to do it before and after. So I'm going to show you with my buffalo high drum that with just using your finger, it sounds really nice and tight. And again, I think this is an elk, elk or moose, 14 inch. She sounds flat. If your drum is like this, you don't want to play with it. The skin is loose. So we're going to tighten this bad boy up um, and pamper her down. You know, waking up that spirit. So I'm sitting in the floor um, and I'm going to tighten my drum. And I just want you to hear how flat it is. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this sweater because it's going to get a little warm. So give me a second. So traditionally, there are two ways to tighten up the hide of a shamanic drum, a hoop drum, a frame drum. I'm going to call it a hoop drum. Traditionally, there are two ways of tightening up the hide. One is by letting it sit outside uh, to absorb the heat of the sun. You have to watch your drum if you're doing it this way because if it's hot enough that the the hide could get tight enough that it could tighten up so much that it could break the frame we don't want that so you gotta watch one that two another way shamans tighten up the hide of their drum is by a, a bonfire or a fire and they place the drum close enough to the fire so that the heat of the fire a tightens the hide all right now remember this is skin this is hide so if you put your hand close to fire you could like the drum you should only put it as close as you yourself can handle the heat so if you can handle the heat from the fire then your drum should be able to but again watch it and keep tapping it let the heat tighten it um, until you get the tone because, you know, until you get the tone of the drum that you want. All right, so right now it's nighttime and I don't happen to have a bonfire. So I'm going to show you another way that I'm going to tighten this uh, skin. And I'm going to use a hairdryer. A modern day hairdryer. Well, I don't know how modern this is, but I'm going to use a modern a, or a hair dryer and I'm going to pass it through the drum and as I'm passing it I'm going to keep checking to see how tight I get it so let me start that okay so now I'm going to turn on my um, hair dryer I want to get it nice and hot I'm going to take my drum and I'm going to pass it I don't know if you can hear me I'm going to pass it through the drum 
I'm gonna take my hair dryer and I'm gonna pass it through my drum, turning it off and every so often checking the tone of my drum. So, here we go. Let me get it nice and hot. Now, every so often, come back and just check how the drum sounds. And then just keep uh, heating it up. So every so often I'm going to turn off the air dryer and I'm going to start checking the drum. It's starting to sound good. She still feels really dry, but we're going to work on that. We, we want to get that tone, you know, back. If you can hear that. All right, so probably one more time. minutes to keep passing uh, the dryer on the drum you don't want to do it too much but it's got its tone back and I'm just using my finger it sounds beautiful okay let me see what she sounds like I think she's done right now So now we're gonna oil this baby down. Get her back into shape, get her back into good health. Sounds good. So now the drum is nice and cool and I want you to hear what it sounds like. Hopefully you can remember what it sounded like in the beginning when it was flat. I can't do this too loud because it is late and you know, my neighbors are sleeping. So I'm gonna try to do this lightly. You can hear the vibrations, it sounds beautiful. So now I'm going to condition, moisturize, and oil my drum. This baby is was completely dry. I don't know when was the last time it was oiled, but a drum, you have to think a drum, a natural hide drum. This is skin. This is hide. And after time, like our own skin, it dries out. It loses its oils, and we have to moisturize it. Drums, we should, especially rawhide drums, we should moisturize them at least once a year. At least give it a good oiling down once a year to keep it subtle, to keep it, you know, healthy, sounding well. Okay, and think about this as you, you know, moisturizing your own skin. Now, there are a few oils that you can use. Um, you can use olive oil. Okay, Goya olive oil. You can use any olive oil you want. I'm Puerto Rican and I have a Goya olive oil. But no, I like to oil drown. I like to oil down my drums with and spoil them. I'm going to spoil drums, right? So I'm going to oil down this drum with African Shia butter. This is going to really spoil this baby. Get the oil inside, you know, get the oil to go in, you know, into the hide, the hide will absorb it. It will keep the skin or the, the hide, the leather lush and vibrant, all right? So how do I do that? Oh, a lot of people will ask me what other oils you can 
there's many oils I would Google that. The only oil I don't think I would use, me personally, would be coconut oil. I have, but what happens with coconut oil is after a time, you start seeing a buildup. You know, the coconut with the coconut oil. I've never seen that happen with olive oil, virgin olive oil, and definitely not with African shea butter. So if you really want to spoil your drum, African shea butter is the way to go. Remember, you want to do this, condition it, moisturize it, and oil it down once a year. So what I like to do, first of all, before you ever play your drum, or before, you know, on a general basis, when you play your drum, you want to oil it down every time, or just with the hands. Passing your hands through the drum, you're awakening the spirit, but not, you're not only awakening the spirit, letting the spirit know that you're going to play the drum, but you're also passing the oils of your own skin onto the drum. So, we're going to use shea butter, because this, look at the sinews, very dry, and I want this bad boy to be nice and oiled and conditioned. So, I'm going to use the African shea butter, and actually, I'm just going to use my hand. And I'm going to take a whole bunch right there. And what I'm going to do, I'm trying to record this, is just spread that oil onto the drum, like so. And I want to get it all over the place, little bits here and there, like so. Okay. Now, this is just on top of the drum. And of course, I want to get the sides of the drum. Okay, I'm, I'm using a lot of oil here. I mean, a lot of shea butter. You don't need to use this much shea butter. But I'm going to spoil this drum. Then I'm going to massage the oil. Also, remember the sinew. Okay, the sinew, this <laughs> design is inter intricate. So I'm going to carefully focus on getting oil into all the sinew the center the sinew okay i don't know if you can see that but i have to focus on this part because that's an intricate design right there so i want to get oil all not oil i'm sorry shea butter into all that and massage it in so the sinew to this drum is really dry and brittle I mean, almost to the point that she's cracking. So I'm being very careful to add the shea butter. It looks like a whole bunch, but I will remove that when I pass a nice clean towel over her and spread the shea butter all around the drum. So now that I have the uh, shea butter on the drum that I put in spaces and in the back, of course, I'm going to start massaging it into my drum, making sure to get all the front of the drum, okay? I oil down the back. She feels nice and, you know, she doesn't feel as fragile. So now I'm going to spread out all that shea butter on the face of the drum, making sure to spread all that shea butter on the sides. Everywhere where there is hide and sinew, especially if the sinew is natural sinew, then you want to get that shea butter right into the drum. So the drum is finally coming back into life and I'm massaging the oil all around the drum. She looks beautiful. She doesn't feel as brittle. So... You saw that I put a bunch of shea butter on this baby. Um, looks like she had not been oiled in so long. So now I want to remove some of the excess oil on the, the excess shea butter. I keep calling it shea butter. And you know, so I'm going to use a clean towel. And I'm just not, I'm not removing. What I'm doing is trying to take off the excess, but also spreading it out the drum. And polishing her down, conditioning her. This looks really nice. So here's the drum. She's back into shape. 
she doesn't feel as brittle, feels nice and strong. There is excess oil on your drum. I keep calling it oil. I'm not using olive oil, I'm using shea butter. There's excess shea butter, it's okay. Leave it for three days. Do not play this drum for three days. Let the shea butter absorb into the drum. Do not keep your drum in a place where there's too much light, all right? Keep it in a dark room, in a closet, or in a in a in a in an area or a wall that doesn't get too much sunlight hitting it. Sunlight is not too good too long for your drum. So, anyways, I'm not gonna play it, you know, because she's oiling down. You know, she's oiling down. She's feeding. I pray to the spirit. The spirit of the drum lives right here. Right? So I pray to the spirit of the the drum. Oiled it down, connected with the drum. I'm not going to play it with a drumstick, but I want you to hear with my fingers. And she sounds beautiful. So treat your drum with respect. Treat your drum with love. This is one of the shaman's most greatest tools. A drum to a shaman, a drum to a shaman is like a cauldron to a witch, a broom to a witch. With the drum is how the shaman goes into the upper, the middle, and the inner world or the lower world. Um, it is, you know, through the drum that we use to get us into meditation, into flight to the worlds of the ancestors, the gods, the spirits. Treat your drum as a sacred entity. Remember, there is living spirit in your drum. This one, I think, is an elk drum, so it's got the spirit of the elk. Um, each hide has its own spirit, its own quality. The buffalo hide will have the spirit of the buffalo. This, of course, has the spirit of the elk, and um, but they're used... The drum is used, like I said, like a witch. It is, it is our broom to travel into the world of the, the, the higher, you know, planes, the lower planes, the, 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 the middle worlds. Treat it with love and treat it with respect. And if possible, keep it in not bright places for too long. Um, you can bring it outside. When it's sunny, it's, it's okay to play it, you know, your drum when it's sunny, but don't keep it in a wall where it's going to uh, take too much sun during the day. If it's raining, do not bring, you know, raining outside, do not uh, bring your drum out, you know. Um, treat it with love and respect, and it will be a tool that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. If you enjoy this, look at how beautiful she looks. I'm going to let her sit for three days. After three days, I will remove with a clean, well, this one's got some shea butter, but I will remove whatever excess I can, and I will treat it with love and respect. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Sancista Bruja Luis. Hit that like button, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Leave those comments if, well, leave those comments. I enjoy the comments anyways. Share the channel, share the videos, all right? Sancista Brujo Luis, it is the spring. It's time to take out those drums. It's time to go out into nature and dance with the spirits, dance with the gods, all right? Sancista Brujo Luis, chao, lo quiero mucho. Bye.